Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part A of the same topic. So we already done some of the problems that is one and two I can say. Now this is the third one of inning 6.4. So we will continue with the third one of the same inning. So here we have to simplify the following. So here what will you do now? First you can see this bracket and this bracket. So nothing is here means this is multiplication. And then there is plus. After this, again, there is a bracket. Again, this is a plus. After this, there is a bracket. So what we have to do, we have to solve first this one, then this part, and then this part. So this is very important. So now this is multiplication. So we have already done in the previous, you can see in the previous video how to multiply. So what will you do here? From the first bracket, you will take, there are two terms. Here also there are two terms. So from the first bracket, this is the first bracket, you will take first term. And then this second bracket, you will take whole together. You will multiply. Then you will take the second term along with the sign. Then again, you will take the second bracket. So this is done first. Now you are going to multiply uh, this. You are going to expand this one because we are going to think about this one. So you are going to expand this one. So that is going to be plus minus is plus minus is going to be minus. Let us see the coefficient first. 5 to the 10. And then the variables. This is the actually here is 1. So when you add it 3 plus 1 that is going to be x is to 4. Now we will see for this and this one. This is minus plus minus. Coefficient is just 2. So 2. Then we will see the variables that is x cubed. So that is minus 2 x cubed y. So this part is done. Now we will go for this part. So what will you have here? This coefficient is just 7. Here you will go with this y. 1 into plus 1 plus 3 that is going to be 4. 7 y is to 4. Now you will go for this and this. Plus minus is going to be minus. Then the coefficient is just 7. Then you will see the variable x cubed y. So minus 7 x cubed y. So this step is important. So after this, we have to just, we are going to expand this bracket. Again, the same, that will be 10 x raised to 4. If you do multiply this and this, that is going to be 5 x cubed y. So this is 5 x cubed y, then this x is to 4. Now here, if you will go here, that will be 14. 7 twos are 14 and then x y cubed, but there is a minus sign here. Then you will see this one. This will be minus 7 y is to 4. So this is 7 y is to 4, but that will be negative. This all is the same. Now what we can see here, we can cut this one because this is plus 10 x is to 4, minus 10 x is to 4, we can cut it. Minus 7 y is to 4, plus 7 y is to 4, we can cut it. So other things are we can bring the now in this one we can bring the like terms together. This also is 5 x cube y. Here is minus 2 x cube y. And this is 7 minus 7 x cube y. This so this will be these are the like terms. And then this is alone. Minus 7 x y cube that is. So this will be alone. So now what we are going to do here, we are going to look at the coefficient. 5 minus 2 means 3. 3 minus 7 means plus 3 minus 7 means minus 4. So minus 4 x cube y and this the same. So this is the answer. So you have to go step by step. You, here you don't have to minimize the steps. The more the steps, the less the mistakes we say. So here don't minimize the steps. Try to make more steps. Now here this will be L square LM and this is minus LM. So this is here. Along with the sign, we can also write ML or LM, minus LM, minus and minus becomes plus, and this is M square. Now look at your third one, third term, that is minus plus is minus, that is ML. So this is the expansion of this one. Now let us see for this one, plus and minus is going to be minus, and we can write here LM, or ML, anything can be okay. Plus, plus is plus. And this will be ml. Again, plus plus is plus, and this will be n square. So this is the expansion of this one. 
So now let us see anything gets cut here. Uh, plus LM minus LM gets cut. Minus MN plus MN gets cut. So other things remain. So what, what remains is L square plus N square plus N square. This is here. And you can see this and this both are LN. But minus LN minus LN means actually there is one. Minus one minus one minus one minus one is going to be you are going to add it but put the minus sign so minus two ln so this is the answer now here again this you are going to take together this you are going to take together because there is a plus sign in between and this you are going to take together so here this is multiplication so again the same thing what i said you will take the first term second bracket you will multiply again this is plus y so this is plus y the second bracket you will multiply same goes with the this also you will take y multiply this y you will multiply this then you will take plus z this is plus z you will multiply with this one so just try to understand this will be like this here again you will take x you will multiply this then you will take plus z and multiply this one so if this step is correct then other things are just you have to expand it x y minus x z plus y square minus y z y z minus x y this is here x z minus x z this is here x square minus x y this is here and x z minus this will be y z that is here so now we will see whether we can cancel x y plus x y minus x y gets cancelled minus x z plus x z gets cancelled and y z plus y z minus y z cancel so remains is here what is we can put here x y in the start y square this is y square and z square so these three things are done and then what remains is minus x y minus y z and minus here x z so this is here so this is the answer now look at this problem. They said from the product, from what is used here, you have to consider this form. From the product of this two, subtract the product. This one. So what you have to do first, you will take the product of this one. The product means you have to multiply this. So product of this. So you know now these are three terms. There are many ways to do this, but this is one of the easiest one. So three terms. So we'll take first term this whole bracket will multiply with this one then we are going to take the second term along with the sign then again this bracket we are going to multiply we'll take plus one and again this whole bracket we are going to multiply if this is done this we have to expand it it's, you know now how to do it the arrows so what will be that x square plus x y minus 2 x y minus 2 y square so see here be careful with this minus sign huh? You have to plus and minus is going to be minus. So don't ignore this sign. So here x plus y. So this is this step should be done perfectly. So now here x y. So what we can do here plus x y minus these are the like terms. So that is going to be here plus 1 minus 2 that is going to be minus 1. That is minus x y. These all things the same. So this is the product of this one. Now let us take the product of this first. And then I'll show you what to do. Product of same thing we will do. We'll take this one, this bracket together. We'll take plus y, this together, plus one, and this together. Then you are going to expand it. So x square minus 2xy, this you can see xy minus 2y, see a plus minus is minus, plus x minus 2y now let us see the like terms this is x square minus 2 plus 1 these are the that that is going to be minus 1 xy and this the same so now they said from the product whenever the word from is used means this whatever you, you got the answer what did you get the product of this this should be at the start and then you are going to subtract whatever you got the answer for this one the product of this one so from is important whatever so suppose I say subtract 2 from 5. So what is the 
after one is five so you are going to write five and then you are going to subtract minus two that is going to be three so hope you got this one if this is clear other things are very easy so now we will take the product of this because from is here so this should be at the start so this is at the start and then you are going to subtract this one this whole thing so what will be here this thing is written as it is over here because now they see here whenever you are going to subtract there are five terms in it and the, this bracket is very important because there is a negative sign over here so all the sign changes so this step is very important this part i mean so now this will be the first the same then minus x square minus minus plus x y plus 2 y square then minus x plus 2 y this is what i'm written here now you can see anything gets cancelled x y x square sorry and x square gets cancelled minus x y plus x y gets cancelled minus 2 y square plus 2 y square gets, gets cancelled plus x minus x gets cancelled so now what we can see what remains is there plus y plus 2 y so plus y means they are one so that will be 3 y so now see here this is not done still we got 3 y after subtracting then what did they say and then evaluate it for x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1 so we don't have the x variable over here we just got 3 y so we are going to put in y we are going to put y is equal to minus 1 so for y is equal to minus 1 hope this is clear this is already uh, written again so in place of y we are going to put minus 1 because we are going to evaluate it so the answer is minus 3 that's what the final answer is minus 3 what must be taken away taken away means you have to subtract from the product of again here the word is used from so what must be taken so this is the given to get to get means this is the reason now what must be taken away so we can just consider something here here because all we can see x so we will take let x be subtracted so now product first we will take off this product again the same we already done many problems on this one now i think you have clear weighted x square this whole bracket together minus 3x this whole bracket together then just keep on expanding this one so after expanding see here be careful with this negative sign so this negative is when you write here plus minus is minus and minus and minus becomes plus so you can look at this step so now let us see if here there is nothing no okay common term like the similar one the like term so just what i did i just took the exponents the higher exponent first that is 5 4 then this also is 4 3 then this 2 and this 3 and did nothing when we took the arranged the exponents from the high to low one so now here what we can see now this is x is to 5 so we can take here because both are x is to 4 so now uh, this will be plus 4 minus 3 means that is going to be just 1 so this is x is to 4 here we cannot see anything so this all are to be we'll write the same so now here the we will got a product of this one so now what will you do this said that from the product of this you have to take now x so what must be taken away means x should be taken away from this product so this is the product and minus x because we are considered what should be taken that is x and is equal to this is the result to get means that is this is the result so when now what will you do we will bring this on the because this is the because this expression is a longer one i wrote on the next line but then if you look at this this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side if you write it in one line you can see so now is equal to is here so we'll remove the is equal to sign and this whatever is on the right hand side we'll bring it all on the left side so this thing we will write the same so
see here this is x this is going to be x is to 5 minus 2 x is to 5 this is plus x is to 4 minus 12 x is to 3 minus x square and if we bring this plus x square on the other side that is going to be again minus x square plus 3x minus x and this minus 3x if we take on the other side that is going to be plus 3x. Hope this step is clear to you. So now we will take the like terms together. This is 1 and minus 2 that is going to be minus 1. This x4 is alone. This is all a now see here minus x square minus x square means minus 1 minus 1 means minus 2 x square and now when you write here this is going to be plus 3 minus 1 that is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 3 that is going to be plus 5 x so this is the answer So by this one we are complete with today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you